What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 Monty video. And guys, today, we got some talk, we got some market talk, we got some market crash talk, MT talk, all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, please make sure to drop the sub. We're going to get closer and closer to 10K, bro. We just hit 9K. Thank you guys so much. Like, literally, second video today. To be honest, there hasn't been that much content going on in 2K. Make sure to drop the like, the sub. Follow the Twitter. We're buying and selling MT on Twitter. So let me know on Twitter, bro. It's at your bugs. Make sure to follow me down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, guys. So literally we hit 9K. I thank you guys enough. I would be posting more videos, but to be honest, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think the content that 2K has been dropping has been literally trash. Besides the Spotlight Sims, which I am not grinding. In my opinion, these everything they have been doing has been awful. Like literally this content right here is straight garbage. The Dane, the Gasol, the Jokic, the, the, I don't want these players, bro. Where are the real players? These players were never a point. He was never a point guard. This card is just, like, not even that good because, like, dude, you get a pink diamond new bowl that does the same exact thing for literally cheaper. This card right here is not good. He's in slow. He's not good, bro. Yeah, he's seven foot. Go get Giannis. Go get Ben Simmons. No. Batum, I don't, I don't care. Ricky Rubio, not usable. So, in my opinion, the content has been terrible. Yeah, they dropped this content too. Terrible content, bro. Chauncey Billups, do I want him? He's six foot. So, I'm just saying, I haven't really been posting that much. Only two bits a day, which is still something. But I will be posting three to five if they've been dropping something decent. I'm not grinding those sims. They take too long. Yes, there's a glitch for them. If you want, go ahead and do it. Have fun playing 60 hours plus still because I'm not doing that. I refuse to do the Sims, and I've been honestly been away from the game because I think the content has been really bad. Um, Shake actually was on 2K19 yesterday. Yeah, I was I, not today, not yesterday. I was watching that today, bro. Damn, 2K19 was so good. Like literally, like literally in the comments, let me know what you guys think is better, 2K19 or 2K20. I was watching the gameplay that Shake had, bro, or uh, Shake versus Caldi. That gameplay was amazing, and. Bro, let me tell you, the gameplay was so much better. Like, this year, it's straight up lane stealing. It's just toxic, bro. I can't even play this game right now. I'm taking a little break, but that's not the point. That's not why you're here. I think a market crash is coming tomorrow because if you think about it, honestly, really think about it. Since the content has been so bad, we are so, so due for some fire, fire content. Like, honestly, they've been dropping Flash. I'm not a fan of Flash. It was cool the first couple weeks. But now, like, these garbage glitch, like, Turkaloo and Jokic, bro, they're not as good as Giannis and Ben Simmons. They're not good as Magic. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, they're cool. But, like, they're nowhere near as good as these other cards, bro. They're nowhere near. So, I just wanted to state the fact that markets are already starting to crash. And I want you guys to stay prepared. Like, as you can see, bro, Bobo was rocking around 300k literally yesterday. The market's going to continue to crash. So if you guys are watching this, make sure to like pay attention to the auction. I'm going to go over a lot of cards in this video. So, okay, let's start off. I know, I know every single buddy. I know everybody's price. I know everybody's price off the top of my head. So let's go over it. Let's go everything. Let's do it. So let's talk about a couple things. Vince Carter is down. KD is up. Okay, now this is what I'm going to say. If you have any prime, what is it? Three or two, whatever the one with KD and Ben Simmons is, you better sell those cards now. Because let me go over this. So if you guys do know the primary Allen set, yeah, okay. Now, primary Allen is outdated, right? So what happened to those cards? T-Mac is cheap. All those cards are cheap. Only people I think are going to drop, like Galaxy Opal, Ben Simmons, and KD, they have to drop eventually, bro. Their prices, yeah, they're probably end game. We don't know what's coming in 2K. They're going to drop hundreds of thousands of MT. If you think about it, bro, as the game goes on, all these cards are going to continue to be outdated. And end game, bro, prices always drop. You want to keep your MT up? Sell your card. It's simple. Now, this card right here, Kevin Durant, is at its max value, bro. 500 and something K. You got to sell this card. Simply. Something drops. You want to get it. Something OP. Giannis, Opal. Kawhi, Opal. That KD is not going to be as valuable, bro. You have to remember that. 
His value is based off his position. He's clearly the best small forward of the game. So you'll see. Giannis, bro, I sold him for 679K. If you guys don't believe me, check out my tweet. 679K, when the market was somewhat broken, he's now 450. This just proves that something's, dude, something is stirring up. Someone's stirring up the market crash pot. I hope YBC drops a video because that prematurely, mar pr prematurely crashes the market. Now, let me tell you this. If the market does crash, you sold your cards, right? You should probably sell your cards today before anybody drops a video. Because if YBC drops a video, the market crash is going to happen so fast and so deadly. So I'm going to warn you guys. Make sure to sell your cards today. Today is going to be the last day to sell. You are going to make empty tomorrow with some tips I'm going to give you tomorrow with some tips I'm going to give you today as well. So now, lately, 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 the market has been breaking every single time at around 6 Eastern, 7 Eastern. Do not sell cards around those times. Like literally try to sell in the morning, whatever you want to do. If you sell your cards at 6 to 7 Eastern, the market has a very high chance of breaking and you could lose your Carmelos, you could lose all your cards very fast, be depressed, lose hundreds of thousands of MT. I know thousands of you guys have lost MT. 2K support's not going to do anything. So I just want to get that tip out. Please, please just listen to me. And do not do anything stupid, like literally. So, whatever. Market crash is coming. Let's go over the card. So, ready? Let's. I'm spitting out straight knowledge. I'm going over every single card quickly, fast. So, ready? T Mac around the same price. D Rose down a lot. Bulls around. He's literally was 300k on Xbox literally two days ago. He's down a lot. Uh, team honestly, T Mac kind of dropped. He was around 600, he was around 40. He wasn't 480. He was on boards. He wasn't packs. Still didn't even affect his price. Blake's down a lot. Blake, I sold my Blake, uh, I would say three days ago for 350. Uh, we got D Rose cheap. Hito Turkaloo's down a lot. He was three something. Palgasol was two something, but that's expected. Booker's around the same. Vince Carter's around two something. He's down. Melo's actually the same price. Um, so bonus is up a little bit. But all I'm going to say is that if Hito's that cheap at point guard, Giannis is at 450. That's the cheapest I've seen Giannis in a while. So something's going to come, bro. Something is going to brew up. What do you guys should be doing? simply simply what you should be doing pink diamond filter honestly when new content drops i always recommend the diamond filter like let's say they drop a diamond Giannis, for instance not even they already have one but let's just say they drop a new diamond Giannis, whatever you want to hop with that filter and just refresh like a mega bot because literally it's the fastest way to make mt whatever new content drops the diamond or the pink diamond is going to pop up the most the quickest and you're going to make the most mt that way so that's another tip for you guys that i would definitely recommend when new content drops or whatever when a market crash happens i would like to stick to the small filters because the opal filter is definitely a lot more hard to like pay attention to all righty so we got the pink diamond filter we got the diamond filter as per usual and we got the Ami filter. Those are going to be the three filters I would definitely recommend when new content drops or even right now, bro. Market crash is coming. Just just, just respect me, bro. I'm telling you right now, this is coming. This is coming hard. And I really want you guys to stay prepared. Like straight up, please, please stay prepared for this because this is going to be the best way to stay prepared. Literally, I'm telling you prices. I'm telling you what you guys should do. Now, if you have Diamond Chauncey Billups, I'm sorry, bro. He went down a lot of MT. Concerning the fact they dropped the opal. Who's going to use the opal? Nobody. Nobody's touching that card. That card is horrendous. Um, I don't know, bro. To be honest, the diamond is pretty good. The opal is going to be really, really good as well. But, dude, what's the big difference? This card's already goaded. He's literally 4K. Who wants to pay top dollar for an opal? Literally, his perimeter D is a 97 already. He's 94 speed. He has gold Hall of Fame. I mean, I think he has gold range and gold quick draw. So, he's a good card. But yeah, right now, man, MT methods, first off, stay away from the packs. If you want to make, how did I tell you guys this? This MT method, bro, real quick, this one actually can make you a lot of MT in seconds. As long as you're really good at sniping, NBA Series 2, bro, around 800, whatever you want to do, this snipe filter is really good. It's really, really good, especially on PS4. Probably one of the best MT making methods in the game. Refresh, snipe, refresh, snipe. It's simple. But yeah, just stay prepared for the market crash. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Honestly, if there's any cards I've missed, like pretty much every Opal is up at its max price. I just don't want you guys to sell around 6 Eastern. So yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you guys love that 9K. Hope you guys hit that sub bell, the noti bell, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys, hope you guys, hope you guys. Love you guys. Peace out.